Doc, can you comment on how should a patient prepare when an endoscopic ultrasound and FNA are indicated? So preparation is a very important part of this procedure. So in order for the endoscopist to perform a successful examination, the patient is responsible for certain things prior to the examination. Typically, the most critical is medications. So we need to get a good medication history of what the patient is taking, blood pressure medications, cardiac medications, blood thinner medications, uh, medications for their diabetes, including insulin and oral agents. So we need to have a good sense of that. The patient has to have a sense of when they need to take their medications. So it's important to communicate uh, this to their primary care physician, their endocrinologist, or their cardiologist prior to coming in to get an answer of when and how they take their medications. Typically, patients who are diabetic will take half of their insulin prior to coming in. Some of their physicians will want them to take their oral medications for their diabetes. Certainly taking cardiac medications and their blood pressure medications are a very important part, and they should always take those medications with a sip of water. It's also very important to have the upper GI tract prepared prior to coming. That means uh, food and water. Patients should not eat after midnight prior to the procedure because a stomach that is full of food will preclude us getting the available information, plus also increase the risk of a problem with the procedure, such as having the food come up from the stomach into the esophagus and then causing what we call aspiration which is the food coming up into the lungs leading to some significant problems. So we, we want to make sure that the stomach is well prepared. And it also includes uh, drinking fluids before the procedure. Certainly having a sip of water with a pill is fine, but having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a cup of juice prior to coming in is clearly not indicated. An important part of the procedure coming in as well is to ensure that the patient reads the list of uh, expectations prior to coming in that number one, they need to have a ride to go home because this procedure is done under sedation. So they're not able to drive afterwards. They need to have a responsible person come with them to take them home, whether it's the other person driving or in a cab to go home because we cannot discharge a patient without a responsible person being there. So that's an important part of the, that preparation process. Another part of the preparation process is the expectation of what is going to happen. And this should be clearly elucidated by the physician that is referring the patient or by the physician performing the patient. If that information is not provided or is not clear, the patient should call the physician who is going to be performing the procedure and discuss the procedure with them if it has not already been done so, so that they have a clear expectation of what is going to happen. So I think those are all important parts. The endoscopist is very happy to relay that information to them. I think that's a very good answer. And going back to the checklist, what to expect, and please read the checklist before you come, not the same day, days before, so we try to do everything as smooth as possible. Thank you.